In this video, we will code a catastrophe bond in a Solidity smart contract. A catastrophe bond is an insurance product that allow you to get some compensation if some natural disaster happens. Hey, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development and how to find your first blockchain job. So let's see how a catastrophe bond works. So let's say that you have an insurance company that insures a lot of people against the risk of a natural disaster happening, like a hurricane. So if this disaster actually happened, the insurance company will have to pay a lot of money to the people who are insured. So the insurance company wants to offload this risk to other people. So in a catastrophe bond, you have two parties. One party is what we call the sponsor. So in our example, that would be the insurance company. And the other party is the investor. So the sponsor will pay some coupon or also said, uh, also called interest to the investor. The investor is going to send the principal into the bond. So it's going to be a larger sum. And if, the, if a catastrophe ever happened, then, then this principle is going to be transferred to the sponsor, so the insurance company. Otherwise, if no disaster happened, then this principle is returned to the investor and the investor can pocket in a nice interest. So why it's interesting for investor It's because this investment is really not correlated with other investment. And so it's really good when they are building their portfolio, because when you're building a portfolio, you want investment that have no correlation and that's actually very difficult to achieve. Before we continue this tutorial, if you are a total beginner in Solidity, you should first check out my tutorial series on Solidity. And after once you have some basic level, then you can come back to this, to this tutorial. So let's start our coding. So we'll go into Remix and we create a spot contract. So first we'll code the variable that we'll need in our bond. So we'll start with the principal, then the coupon. So that's what the sponsor needs to pay to the investor. Then the Oracle, so the Oracle is a smart contract or an external Ethereum address that will report the outcome. So it will answer the question, a disaster did happen or not. Then we're gonna have the address of the sponsor. Then the address of the investor. Both of them needs to be payable because we need to send money to them. Then a disaster bond has an end because we're going to be an insurer until a certain date. It's never forever. And then we're going to store the outcome. So first we need to create an enum for this. So an enum will have three cases, three options, non disaster happen disaster not happen okay and oh and after we store this into a variable so outcome all right so next we're gonna create a constructor that will be called by the sponsor so it's going to take a couple of arguments first the address of the oracle then what's the principle and finally what's the duration of the loan in second and this needs to be payable because we're going to send some money to this so then we're going to assign the different variable to address of the oracle how much is the principle for the coupon, this is basically what the sponsor will send to this constructor. Then for the sponsor, well, that's basically the center of this transaction. So the address that create this contract. And for the, the end variable, well, that's now plus duration. 
this will be a timestamp in second. So next we're going to create a function for the investor so that he can invest external and that's payable because uh, we want to send some money to this. So the investor needs to be the first one. Uh, once an investor, I've already called this function, this is too late. Uh, an investor already registered. Okay, uh, then another condition is the value sent must be exactly the principal, otherwise not enough money sent. And finally, this must be before the end of the loan of the bond, otherwise this is too late. So if all the conditions are satisfied, then the investor is the sender of this transaction. And we're going to transfer the coupon to the investor. So this is a reward for providing the insurance service. And after we need another function to report the outcome if a disaster ever happens. So this is going to be called by the Oracle. And as an argument, it will provide the value of this outcome. So first, we want to require that this is the uh, Oracle. Otherwise, this is not safe. Only Oracle. Then we want to make sure that an investor was registered. Otherwise, there is no point in reporting this outcome uh, so it needs to be different from the zero address no investor registered and it also need to be before the end of the loan of the bond so if all these conditions are satisfied then we're going to test that what's the outcome so if out oh yeah oh, by the way we also need to save the value of the outcome so that we can read it for reference from the smart contract so let's compare this if this is outcome dot disaster happen then we send the principal to the sponsor transfer principle so the investor will lose the principle in this case but that was a risk uh, he was taking and otherwise the investor is going to get back his money and okay so once you have your this smart contract what do you do well, the next step will be to build the front end. So you build a full decentralized application with a, a UI for end users. And for this, you're going to need JavaScript and Web3. So this example of smart contract is a, an example of what you can do with uh, DeFi or decentralized finance. And there are many other really cool stuff we can do with DeFi in solidity and actually i have a series full of tutorial for DeFi, so check it out if you want to learn how to code solidity DeFi project i'll see you there